Hello everyone, it's Valerie from Wonderfill and today I'm going to show you an awesome technique for embroidery called freestanding lace. Instead of being done on fabric, this embroidery is done on wash away stabilizer. So when you remove the stabilizer, the lace stands on its own. You can use this incredibly versatile technique in so many ways. I've used it to embellish clothing by putting it over shirts, turning it into collars, decorating cuffs, and even shoes. You can even make jewelry and accessories, Christmas ornaments, doilies, and other delicate, intricate designs. The best part is, it's very simple to create. You just need the right tools for the job. I'll show you three of my favorite threads to use for this technique. The first being metallic thread. This 40 weight metallic thread is called Spotlight, and it's made with a rayon core that prevents it from stretching in your machine and causing annoying thread breaks. Metallic is a beautiful choice for freestanding lace because of its shine, so I love using it for Christmas tree ornaments. Another option is this 80 weight polyester thread called Deco Bob. It's a super fine thread that makes an ideal choice for really intricate or small designs, allowing you to get all the details in the design. You can even make thread lace with cotton, which is a good choice when you want a piece with a matte finish. This is a 50 weight cotton called Confetti, which I've used when making things like doilies or when I want that natural cotton look on a piece of clothing. You'll also need a water soluble stabilizer. There are two different kinds in the market and what I prefer using looks a little more like fabric. The other kind has a plastic appearance and I find it doesn't function as well for this technique. Finally, you'll want your embroidery machine and design. Choose a design that's made for freestanding lace, which will have a lot of connections throughout that will hold it together. I'm going to demonstrate with Spotlight because metallic thread can be a bit trickier to work with. So I'll show you all the tips that will make it work beautifully. Before you begin, you'll want to wind a bobbin with the same thread you're using in the top. This is because freestanding lace is visible from both sides. So this will be one of the very few times you would use metallic in the bobbin. Remember not to wind your bobbin too full or that may cause issues. A useful tool to use on metallic thread is a wonder guard. This thread wrap sits loosely around the spool so that the twists get pulled out while coming off the spool. I'm going to start by placing my spool of thread on a thread stand called the Thread Tamer. The Thread Tamer has an attachment that I can weave my thread through, which pulls out all the twists from the metallic thread and also allows it to relax before entering the machine. You'll have much fewer thread breakages and a more consistent tension this way. Place your stabilizer in the embroidery hoop, making sure that it is tight and flat. Next, place your embroidery hoop in your machine, making sure it is securely attached. And now we're ready to begin. Start the machine, then pause after a few stitches to snip away your starting thread so it doesn't get caught up in your design. Now, restart your machine and watch it for the first little while to make sure it is running smoothly. Your machine will stop by itself when the design is complete. Look how perfectly that's stitched out. We didn't have a single thread breakage the entire time. Now, I'm going to pull this out of the embroidery hoop and trim away the excess stabilizer. The only thing left is to toss it in a bowl of warm water to melt the rest away. Gently massage the lace to get all the stabilizer out of the small crevices. When all the stabilizer is gone, allow your freestanding lace to air dry. Once completely dry, drop a piece of protective fabric over your lace and give it a quick press with the iron to finish. And that's all there is to it. You can imagine all the creative things you can do with freestanding lace. I've also created two more pieces over here. This one is using the 80 weight deco bob and you can see how much detail you can get using a super fine thread. And this one over here is made with confetti 50 weight cotton for that beautiful and natural cotton finish. So there you have it. Freestanding lace is a great technique for any machine embroiderer because of how simple it is and how beautiful the results. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks. We'll see you all next time.